Hi, welcome back to our story, The Snake and the Mirror. Do you remember up to where we had seen in the last first video, the last video, the first one, uh, our narrator narrating his story. One day he came to his room after, uh, I mean, uh, taking meal from outside. And when he came to his room, he found <laughs> some rats running and he heard the familiar sound. One could even say that he shared the room with the rats. Okay, so he, it was so familiar to him. And he came to his room, he was not getting sleep. Then he looked into the mirror. Then he found he was so attractive, so beautiful, so handsome. Then he made some earth-shaking decisions. Which means humorously he says, it is not such an important decision that he would take a daily shave. So he says that these are very important uh, decisions that he made. Number one, he would take a daily shave. Number two, he would grow thin moustache to look more handsome, more beautiful. And uh, now the third decision coming, what is that? Uh, pay number uh, four, one, two, three, three virus over. Okay. Again came that noise from above. Again he heard the same noise, the familiar noise from above. I got up. I got up immediately. Lit a beady light. I mean, uh, lighted. See, I lit a beady. Uh, see? And paced up and down the room. Pace means walked. I began walking up and down to and fro. In the room. Then another lovely thought struck me. Then there came a beautiful thought into my mind. What is that? I would marry. Then I decided that I would get married. I would get married to a woman doctor. Of course, I am a doctor. So I would get married to a woman doctor. Who had plenty of money. Oh. He must be, she must be wealthy enough, a lot of money. If she had a lot of money, if I don't work for her, no problem. Okay, now. So I would marry a woman doctor who is very rich and had a lot of money. And a good medical practice. Yes, she should have, she must have a good medical practice. She had to be fat. Then I made a humorous, no, wonderful decision. My wife should be very fat. Why? For a valid reason. A reasonable reason. Okay. What is that? If I made some silly mistake, husband and wife, you know, if I made a small mistake, a silly mistake, I needed to run away. <laughs> she should not be able to run after me and catch me. So, she won't be able to run off from me and catch me. If she is so fat, a big lady, so fat, like a small mountain. So, if at all I make a mistake, she should not be able to run off from me and catch me. So, I made a wonderful decision. First of all, I should get married. Number two, she should be very rich. Number three, she must have good medical practice and above all. She must be fat so that if at all he made some mistakes, she won't be able to run after me and catch me. With these thoughts in mind, with all these thoughts in mind, what are the thoughts? Number one, getting married. What kind of woman he is going to get married? A fat woman. A rich lady with a lot of medical practice, a woman, a doctor who is a woman, a woman lady doctor. Okay, with such thoughts in mind, I resumed my seat in the chair in front of the table. I took my seat in front of the table. I mean, uh, I mean, was that uh, in the chair? There were no more sounds from above. For some time, there were no more sounds from above. Suddenly there came a dull thunder. Suddenly there came a dull noise, dull sound. As if a rubber tube had fallen to the ground. Not a heavy noise. You know, rubber tube, something rubber falling into the uh, on the floor won't make much sound. A dull sound. Okay now. A boring kind of sound. A rubber tube falling onto the I mean on the on the floor. So the sound won't be nice to hear. 
a dull sound. Surely nothing to worry about. Hey, no problem. I thought, what is that sound about? Hey, no problem. What sound? I don't understand. Even so, I thought I would turn round and take a look. Even while I turned round and take a look. No sooner had I turned. As soon as I turned. No sooner. Is it? Did plus V1 or hard plus V3. Had I turned. Then a fat snake wriggled over the bike of the chair. So the moment I turned bike. A fat snake. Is it? Wriggled. Twisted. And. Is it? Uh, where? Over the bike of the chair. And got settled on the bike of the chair. And landed on my shoulder. It was coming from up. Maybe it had gone up to catch the rats. You see, a snake will really catch mouse, rats, etc. So, it fell down from there. Luckily or unluckily enough to fell on the chair where I was sitting here. And it came onto my shoulder. Okay. No sooner. Miss Asunas. Asunas I had turned. Had I turned. Then a fat snake wriggled over. A twisted over. The bike of the chair. And landed on my shoulder. The snakes landing on me. And my turning were simultaneous. See, my turning bike, you see what the sound was about? And snake falling down happened at the same time. Simultaneous. Happening at the same time. It happened simultaneously. My turning bike and the snake falling down came at the same time. That is called a simultaneous. So the snake coming from up and falling on my shoulders and my turning happened at the same time, simultaneous. Yes, the story goes on. I didn't jump because it is a snake, very dangerous. So I did not jump and make a hurry, very, I mean, a problem. I did not make because it is to be handled very carefully. It is a carefully, it is a snake. I didn't tremble. I was really frightened, but I did not tremble with the fear. I didn't cry. I did not cry like a child, like a boy. There was no time to do any such thing. No time because the snake is so dangerous. Okay, now. So with third movement, it is the best possible way to escape from the snake because I really was frightened. So I did not cry. I did not shout. There was no time for that. The snake slithered along my shoulder. Me slipped along my shoulder. Snake on my shoulder. You see? And it just slipped along my shoulder and coiled around my left arm. It coiled. See? Moving around and round. See? Coiled around using its, I mean, a tail. It coiled around my left arm. Yes! Above the elbow. This is elbow. Okay? Elbow. This arm. Wrist, elbow, hand, wrist, elbow, arm. Okay, full arm. Shoulder, okay, shoulder. I mean, elbow, wrist, hand. Okay, so it, I mean, uh, uh, where is that? Uh, coiled around here on my left arm. Okay, above the elbow. The hood was spread out. The hood was spread out. The hood of the snake. Isn't it so? Not the head actually. It's the entire uh, head. Part of the head. See, it would be spread like this and it would move like that. Okay, no? Snake moving. Okay. King Cobra. The hood was spread. Then you can find some mark also in this way. Okay, now. Have you seen that? Eh? Yes. Uh, at least in pictures you can see. The hood was spread. So, it would be like this. No. Snake, it will be spreading like this. So, it will be moving like that. Okay. Okay. The hood was spread out and his head was hardly 3-4 inches from my face. It was very near to my face. Here, very near to my face. One, is it, biting or a snake bite was enough. My life would be gone. I must be very careful. It is very dangerous. Poisonous snake. The hood of the uh, snake was very near to, I mean, my head. Just 3-4 inches away. Okay, uh, uh, inches from my face. It was three to four inches away from my face. 
it would not be correct to say merely that i sat there holding my breath actually i was doing that there is not enough to say you see i was holding my breath i could not even breathe the breathing sound you see i mean i would be hurt by the snake where is the sound coming from yes the snake would doubt and it may attack also it would not be correct to say merely i was not merely you see holding my breath alone something more was there it would not be correct to say merely that i sat there holding my breath i was sitting there not even able to breathe i was turned to stone i was a turned to stone just like stone i was sitting with no movement i was not moving afraid to move really frightened i was sitting like a stone but my mind was very active still my mind was very very active the door opened into the darkness see the door is open it is into the darkness is open i can run and escape but i first i must get uh, i mean freed from i mean uh, the snake it is there on my uh, my i am my arm is coiled around my arm left arm first i must escape from the snake then only i can run away so my mind was very active how to escape yes the room was surrounded by darkness then the room was uh, surrounded by darkness in the light of the lamp one kerosene lamp was there in the light of the lamp i sat there like a stone image in the flesh just like a stone picture stone image in flesh flesh and blood i am now yes flesh body you see blood flesh and blood human beings are flesh and blood we mortals are all flesh as your flesh means mamsam you see flesh and blood okay na yes we have flesh and blood so we are not made of stone or iron or something like that we are really flesh and blood having emotions feelings fear anger happiness everything is there we are human beings but actually i turned into a stone made of flesh and blood but just like a stone i was sitting yes i sat like a stone just like a stone like similarity okay na yes i was like a stone see my sitting there was just like a stone the figure of speech is a simile so what is simile comparison between two things so when two things are compared by using the word like or yes as it is as same as it is called a simile Yes, we will study later. Okay, now no time. Other is the lesson won't be completed. So you just know that it is called a simile. S I M I L E. Simile means comparison between two things. For example, my love is like a red red rose. A lover going to his lady love and giving her a rose flower, telling that my love is like a red red rose. My love is like this. It is not simply told. It is a authoritative example given in a book by M. H. Abrams. The name of the book is A Glossary of Literary Terms. The same example is given there. Okay, now simile comparison between two things. My love is like a red red rose. Here in the same way, like a stone, I was sitting. Though I am made of flesh and blood, though I am made of flesh and blood, I was sitting there just like a stone. is it clear to you though i was made of i am made of flesh and blood i was sitting there just like a stone which means no movement i cannot laugh i cannot cry i cannot shout because snake is very near it may come and attack me at any moment i was really frightened i was really frightened so i did not move i did not speak i did not even open my mouth i was even afraid to breathe in a natural way just like a stone i was sitting i was sitting just like a stone okay uh, where is it here? yes i felt then the great presence of the creator of this world at this moment at this sir i felt the presence of god only god can save me when you are in danger you will call the name of god okay na until then you will not call people are like that now i remembered i felt the presence of presence of god 
ഈ ഫുള്ളി ഗോഡ് ഹെൽപ്സ് മീ ഐ ക്യാൻ എസ്കേപ്പ് അതർവൈസ് മൈ ലൈഫ് ഈസ് ഇൻ ഡേഞ്ചർ ഏസ് ക്രിയേറ്റർ ഓഫ് ദിസ് വേൾഡ് ആൻഡ് ദിസ് യൂണിവേഴ്സ് നൗ ഐ തോട്ട് ഓഫ് ദ ക്രിയേറ്റർ ഓഫ് ദിസ് വേൾഡ് ആൻഡ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് യൂണിവേഴ്സ് ഗോഡ് ഐ മീൻ ഗോഡ് വാസ് ദേർ ഇതിനോ ഗോഡ് വാസ് ദേർ സപ്പോസ് ഐ സെറ്റ് സംതിങ് ആൻഡ് ഹി ഡി നോട്ട് ലൈക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ആക്ച്വലി he felt that this snake is like a god which means he can take my life away he can take my life away if i say something and he did not like it yes i tried in my imagination to write in bright letters outside my little heart the words god so i wanted to pray i really wanted to pray but if i say oh god here is one who is that snake if he did not like my words sir he may attack him. so i did not utter the word god though i know that god almighty is there and now at present i don't mean the snake is god what i mean is that he can attack me he can attack me even if i say one word oh god if he does not like it who does not like it if the snake does not like it he may attack me and my life will be in danger okay na suppose i said something i said something if if i said something and he did not like it if he did not like it who the snake if the snake did not like it i okay 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 where is that uh, snake did not like it where is that okay i tried in my imagination yes so he may not like it if i call even god i could not even pray i could not pray because if i pray and the word is heard by the snake he may attack me i tried in my imagination to write in bright letters so in my imagination i tried see i cannot speak to write letters outside my heart the words god in my heart i wrote i did not speak so i wrote is it in letters ah uh, the word god so i could not pray i could not utter a word because snake was there very near to my head there was some pain in my left arm a big snake coiled around my left arm i felt some pain a heavy object is there on my shoulder no on my left arm i felt some pain okay it was as if a thick laden road it was like a thick laden road no a road made of molten fire it was made of molten is it fire was slowly but powerfully crushing my arm very slowly but powerfully it was crushing see crushing my arm the arm was beginning to be drained of all strength all energy and strength was drained exhausted i was now feeling the pain and suffering because a big snake coiled around my left arm and i felt the pain of it the difficulty i felt really what could i do then i thought myself what could i do at my slightest movement the snake would strike even at my slightest movement if i move this way or that way the snake might strike at me death lurked four inches away see death is there you see just four inches away near my head just four inches away my, from my head death is there the snake means death i felt the presence of death just 3 4 inches away from my head i felt the presence of death just 3 4 inches away from my head okay where is there yes death lurked 4 inches away suppose it is struck what was the medicine i had to take then i thought i am a doctor suppose the snake strikes i see what medicine shall i take ah oh, there were no medicines in the room unfortunately no medicine was there in the room i had just begun my medical practice not much medicines available no medicine was there in the room i was but a poor foolish and stupid doctor he laments christ telling that what a stupid foolish poor fellow i am i was just a poor stupid doctor homeo doctor i forgot my danger and smiled feebly at myself 
I forgot about the danger. Is if it is lurking just four inches away from my head, and smiled at myself. I can do nothing. I can't even pray because the danger is there, just three inches away from my head. I have no medicine also. I cannot escape in any way. I mean, the snake has coiled around my left arm. What can I do? What could he do? He could not do anything. Nothing could be done. Nothing could be done. He couldn't do anything. So he simply, feebly, means very weak, weakly. See, meek, very, double E, okay, weak. Because he was very weak. Okay, now. So, a weak smile came on his face. Because he could not do anything at all. Yes, I forgot my danger and smiled feebly. Feebly means weak, W-E-A-K, okay, weakly, at, my, at myself. It seemed as if God appreciated that. Yes, the snake turned his head. So, the God appreciated my attitude of simply sitting and smiling. Nothing could be done. What could I do? Anyhow, the snake turned his head away from my head. It turned his head away from my head. He looked into the mirror and saw his reflection. Ah, luckily enough, the snake turned towards the mirror and looked into the mirror. Okay. Ah, okay. And saw its own reflection. It saw its own reflection. I did not claim that it was. I did not claim that it was the first snake that had ever looked into the mirror. I don't claim that, you see, I don't demand that, I don't say that this is the first snake that ever looked into the mirror. May not be. There might be many snakes before it is that looked into the mirror. But it was certain that the snake was looking into the mirror. I was sure that, it was certain, I was 100% sure that uh, the snake was looking into the mirror, seeing its own reflection. The snake may, might have seen another snake there. Or it might have understood that, uh, I mean, it's a mirror, I can enjoy my beauty uh, looking into the mirror. We don't know how the snake felt looking into the mirror. Okay, now, there are many stories, uh, a dog looking into the water, seeing its own reflection, jumping into the river. You might have heard of that. The same way, whether the snake is saw another snake, or snake looked into the mirror and enjoyed its own beauty. Ah, oh, nice. How beautiful I am. We don't know. I do not claim that it was the first snake that had ever looked into the mirror. I don't say that it is the first snake that ever looked into the mirror. But it was certain that the snake was looking into the mirror. Was it admiring its own beauty? I doubt it. Was it doing there? Admiring, enjoying its own beauty. How beautiful I am. Yes. Was it trying to make an important decision about growing a moustache? <laughs> Just like me. The snake also thinks that it would grow a moustache or using eye, eye, eye shadow. Girls will do generally eye shadow, eyebrows. Now they will make some shadows. Eye shadow. Uh, and mascara or wearing a vermilion spot on his forehead. So wearing some uh, puttu again. Uh, and some decoration. So the snake also doing some decoration on his head. On his face, sorry. Uh, and mascara or wearing a vermilion spot on his forehead. So he is a snake doubting like that. Or thinking about that. Uh, to put some powder, uh, then uh, do some makeup, grow some moustache, uh, decorating his face. The other humorously says that he doubted whether uh, there is like a girl, you see, who sees a, uh, a very nice, beautiful mirror, looking into the mirror, enjoying its own beauty, her own beauty. Just like that, the snake was enjoying its own beauty. He doubted whether the snake was enjoying its own beauty. Yes. I did not know anything for certain. Nothing was sure. I doubted whether, I doubted whether the snake was enjoying its own beauty. Remember once again, the narrator says that he doubted what the snake was, whether if the snake was enjoying its own beauty. I repeat, the author doubted whether the snake was enjoying its own beauty. What sex was a snake? Was it male or female? Then I doubted whether the snake is male, 
मैन और वुमन और फीमेल फीमेल मीन्स टू spend more time i am safe because it will be looking into the mirror for long long hours girls know how much time they sit in front of the mirror so they won't be happy again they would sit there more and more time they would spend they would enjoy, they would enjoy that also gents boys they won't spend that much time in front of the mirror they will take a comb and do like this and do with the hand also they would do that and they would go to school or college okay now yes but girls will spend the long hours in front of the mirror so i doubt whether snake was a man or woman male or female i don't know i will never know also i am not going to check whether the snake is man or woman or male or female for the snake unwound itself wind unwound okay na? so unwind itself i mean uh, unwound itself from my arm as slowly slithered into my lap it slowly crept into my lap here okay na yeah, slowly from the shoulders it slipped crept into my lap okay i was sitting there uh, i mean on the chair oh, okay 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 from there it crept into the table on to the table and moved towards the mirror ah it really like this on image so slowly it crept from the shoulder i into my lap then crept towards the mirror okay perhaps it wanted to enjoy its reflection at the closer quarters really the snake wanted to enjoy its own beauty at close quarters miss very nearby really the snake wanted to enjoy its own beauty very nearby or close quarters i was no mere image cut in granite the moment i saw the snake came from my shoulders into my lap then climbed on to the table and looked into its own image in the mirror then the moment it left me i was no more a stone see i mean what's that ah uh, image cut in granite granite okay no granite used for tiling etc granite is used no so i was no more till now i was sitting like an image cut me stone cut you uh, know stone uh, i mean uh, a granite stone just like an image uh, made of granite stone so stone image that means no more i remained to be a stone that means i began running what is that uh? i was suddenly a man of flesh and blood next moment i became a man of flesh and blood we can jump and run and escape still holding my breath still frightened i was i was unable to breathe holding my breath i got up from the chair i jumped from the chair not got up simply jumped from the chair i quietly went out through the door into the veranda aha i jumped into the veranda from there i leaped leap jump leap jump in the yard court yard and then ran for all i was worth ran for my life my life was in danger i ran away from the room and escaped for each of us he would a great sigh of relief the listeners the children oh we got a deep breath a sigh means take a deep breath of relief we were relieved that he ran away and escaped all of us a uh, little beadies his friends not the children his friends all began lighting beadies somebody asked doctor is your wife very fat <laughs> he did not uh, i mean uh, forget that you made a wonderful decision that you would uh, marry a fat lady is she very fat no the doctor said no 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 god willed the other way is the will of god was just the opposite why my life companion my life partner is a thin reedy person reed means a creeping plant see very thin that's creeping uh, i mean reedy just like a creeping plant you see she is very thin just like a stick ah uh, with a gift of a sprinter this is sprinter is one who can participate in running competition pitusha sprinter okay now yes so she can run so fast faster than me and catch me very easily also someone has asked the doctor when you run does the snake follow you ah when you run away does the snake came after you the doctor replied 
I ran and ran till I reached a friend's house. I did not look back if a snake is coming or not because I was running for my life. Yes, then I reached a friend's house. Immediately I smeared oil over all over myself and took a bath. So I uh, washed myself using some oil and took a bath also. I changed into fresh clothes. I changed my dress snake. You see? Uh, the next morning at about 8.30, I took my friend and one or two others to my room to move my things from there. I was so frightened the snake might be still there. I want to escape. I will move uh, away from that room. I don't want to stay there anymore. So take my things or belongings, my luggage and all and move away from the room. I came back into the room. I came back into the room to take my things away. But we found we had little to carry. There wasn't anything to carry. My luggage items all. Some thief had removed most of my things. Except that night itself a thief came there. How lucky I was. See, one side is snake, other side is the thief. I was running to escape from the snake. Then came a thief. Okay, now? A thief came there and he took away all my possession. Okay, now? Yes. Most of my things, the room had been cleaned out. Actually, there was nothing to clean. This entire thing, uh, all the things were cleaned out by the thief. But not really. But exactly not really. Why? The thief had left behind one thing as a final insult. Okay, now? He insulted me. He shamed me. He took everything of mine except one item. What was that? I asked. One of the friends asked, what was that? The doctor said, my vest, the dirty one. <laughs> he took all my clothes, uh, some dhotis, uh, some shirts, everything taken. But my vest, undergarment, he left there. Maybe very dirty and smell also might be there. <laughs> Yo, what a doctor he is. Uh, he is not bathing, he is not washing his clothes. Uh, he felt, uh, okay, shame. He did not take my undergarments. Okay, now, the fellow had such a sense of cleanliness. He, he had a sense of cleanliness. Though he was a thief, he too had the sense of a cleanliness. Cleanliness is equal to godliness. Okay, now? Hey, yes, that's a proverb. Okay, now? Okay, the thief had such a sense of cleanliness. The rascal could have taken it and used it after washing it with soap and water. That means my vest was not good enough even for a thief. If thief also won't take such a dirty thing it was. So it was an insult. You see, it was a shame on me. Ah, why? Because even the thief did not take away my undergarments. Anyhow, the fellow could have taken and washed it and used it. Huh? I am washing it with soap and water, I thought. Did you see the snake the next day, doctor? Did you see the snake again next day? He laughed. I have never seen it since. It was a snake which was taken with the, its own beauty. Yes. It was a snake which was a, taken, attracted by, surprised by its own beauty. It was a snake which was taken with, the, attracted by yes, its own beauty. It is a humorous story. The narrator says that it was a snake which was taken by its own beauty. That is the story, the snake and the mirror by, by Vaikam Muhammad Bashir. I hope the story is clear to you. See the questions also. You can find the answers. The doctor heard a sound coming from above three times. What was it? Yes, you can say, find it. The answer from the test book. Of course, rats, you know, but write one or two sentences of your own. Yes. Why did the doctor sit like a stone? Of course, the snake was just three inches away. Okay, now, if he moves, it might strike. Okay, in the same way, find the remaining answers too. And write those answers in your notebook. If any difficulty is there in finding the answers, any of these answers, just inform me. I will explain the answers once again. Otherwise, the video, video will become uh, so long. So, I am winding up. Uh, meet you with another video. Okay, now. Thank you for watching.
for more updates subscribe to channel sgk english thank you